In this video, I'll show you how to add up to five additional monitors to your laptop. Most laptops will have one video port so that you can add one additional monitor, but if you wanted to add two or more monitors, you were pretty much out of luck, except on very high-end laptops. Today, with the advent of fast USB ports on laptops, something called a docking station is now available to any laptop that has a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port. I know that's a mouthful, but let me show you how you can do this. This is a docking station. There's a large variety of these docking stations on the market. This particular model is highly rated by thousands of users on Amazon, so I decided to give it a test. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Everything you see in this video are products I purchased myself. So this docking station is a 13-in-1 device, meaning that it has 13 different ports on the side that give you all kinds of added capabilities. I'll be doing an in-depth video on this docking station, and when that's ready, you'll see a link up here to watch it. Three of these 13 ports are used to connect a video. On the end there is a single display port, and on the side are two HDMI ports. Now with these three ports, you should be able to connect to just about any monitor that you have, even older ones, and I will talk about connecting to older monitors a bit later. I'll be connecting this to a PC, but this docking station will work on a Mac. However, there are Mac limitations, which I will explain later. Okay, let's hook up some monitors. So first thing, I'll plug this docking station into the USB-C port on the laptop. There are no drivers to install, it's plug and play. Next, I'll plug in this DisplayPort cable, which is already plugged into the back of this monitor. In just a few seconds, Windows detects the monitor and connects to it. You'll probably want to do a little bit of housekeeping in Windows to make your displays just the way you want them. To do that, just right-click on the desktop, preferably on the laptop itself, then click Display Settings. Now, I'm using Windows 11, but previous versions of Windows will look similar. At the top, you'll see a representation of your monitors. Each little box here represents one of your monitors. The box labeled as 1 is your laptop itself, so this box labeled 2 is the external monitor I just plugged in. You can click on either box to adjust settings for that individual monitor. The first setting to adjust will determine how this monitor behaves. It can show you a duplicate of the main screen or an extension of the screen. So I'll change, click this here, change this to duplicate these screens and keep changes. And now you can see the exact same thing on both screens. Or you can extend the display and that means that both screens are now separate and show unique parts of the desktop. They're independent of each other and you can put different things on either monitor. So I'll change that to extend these displays, keep the changes, and now if I minimize that, and let's say I open up a notepad, and now I can move this from one screen to the other. Now I'm trying to move over here to the right, but there's a reason I can't do that. I actually have to go to the left, and there is my notepad. Together, both of these screens now equal one giant desktop that you can work on. Back in display settings, this isn't just a pretty picture of your monitors. This also controls the relationship of one monitor to the other on your physical desk. In my case, this external monitor is sitting to the right of my laptop, but on the display settings page here, it is sitting on the left. All right, so I've enlarged my mouse so you can easily see where I'm moving here. Now, if I try to move my mouse over to the right side of my screen, my mouse cannot go past the edge of the screen. And that's because in the display settings, the external monitor, that's box number two, that's this, this one, is on the left side of the laptop. And so I need to actually drag the monitor, this monitor, over to the right so that it resembles the way the monitors actually are on my desk. So I'll just drag this over and drop that. And so now these represent the way they are actually are on my desk. Now if I click apply, and now if I move my mouse to the right, you can see that it travels to the external monitor just the way that you would expect it to. 
I can fine tune the precise position of the monitors so they closely match the way the monitors sit on the desk. The external monitor is a 4K monitor, so obviously this docking station does support 4K monitors. Its resolution is 3840 by 2160. My laptop screen is just 1920 by 1080. All right, I've got this one monitor connected. Let's add another monitor, this time by connecting it to one of the HDMI ports. And the HDMI cable is plugged into the back of the monitor already. And very quickly, Windows recognizes this second external monitor. However, you may find that some settings need a little bit of fine tuning. For example, the displays may be duplicates instead of extended, and the screen resolution may be wrong on one or more of the monitors. Now, when you start adding a bunch of screens like this, the representation you see here could become a little confusing. You may not realize, may not be able to determine which screen is which. So you can click the Identify button, and you'll see it actually puts a number on the screen so you can tell which screen is which. This was the second external monitor, and now it has become the third. So the third one here, and the second one is this one. And so I also want to rearrange this a little bit to represent how it is on our desk here. So I'm going to drag this up and see if I can make this fit the way I need it to. And I click Apply. And so now if I move my mouse around, it should roughly go uh, from one screen to the next in a way that is representative of the way these monitors are on my desk. Let's plug in to the final video port on the laptop docking station. This is the second HDMI port. Once Windows recognizes the monitor, you'll notice that these boxes have changed size. So what's going on? Now, if I click on one of these bigger boxes here and look at the resolution, scroll down, you'll see that the resolution is 2560 by 1440. And that's been reduced from 3840 by 2160. In fact, the maximum resolution of these monitors is no longer available. The same is true of this center monitor here. And if I click on this monitor, it's showing the maximum resolution is now only 800 by 600. In fact, there's no choice other than 800 by 600. These are three identical monitors. What's happened? This docking station will support three 4K monitors, but there are some limitations based on the limitations of my particular laptop. My laptop uses the DisplayPort 1.3 standard, but according to the information for this device, it needs DisplayPort 1.4 or higher to be able to support 4K on all three monitors simultaneously. Apparently it has to scale down, in my case, to handle the video for all three screens. So for most people, you probably don't even have 4K monitors, but if you do, just know that if your laptop doesn't support DisplayPort 1.4 or higher, you may not be able to get full 4K resolution on all monitors. But they all work and are usable, so looking at them, you may not even be able to tell which is which, except maybe this one over here where everything is really cropped in and huge. Now, I mentioned earlier that this docking station is usable with a Mac. However, you can only extend the desktop to a single monitor. You can also use three monitors, but they will either duplicate the laptop or all three external monitors will show the exact same extended desktop. I'm not a Mac user, so I have not tested this on a Mac. Let's talk briefly about the USB-C port you plug the docking station into, because this is critical to the success or failure of this process. You need to make sure the port is USB 3.1 Gen 2 or higher, otherwise the video ports won't work. Your USB port may also be labeled as USB 3.2 Gen 2. This is the same as 3.1 Gen 2. Crazy, I know the naming convention has changed over the years, creating a lot of confusion. So this type of port can handle up to 10 gigabits per second. That's the critical part. But if you don't have this type of port, stick around because I have another solution that should allow most other computers to add monitors. Now, I don't want to make this confusing, but it's very important to mention that your computer might have a USB-C port that does not support 
USB 3.1 Gen 2. A USB Type-C port is this type of port. Type-C tells you the shape of the port, but it does not guarantee the USB protocol. The protocol is the version number of USB that I've irritatingly repeated way too many times already. The version number tells you how fast the port is and other details about it. But Type-C just tells you the port is shaped like this one. USB-C is the only USB port that is reversible, meaning you can plug it in in either way and it just works. Refer to the manual provided with your laptop or search online using your model number plus keywords like manual or specs to find the speed of your USB ports. Also, you'll need a fairly recent GPU and CPU to get the most out of this device. I'll link to this docking station on Amazon where you can read the specific requirements. I bought this laptop in 2019, but it was a fairly high-end machine at the time. Now, more recent laptops will likely support this docking station. Understand this docking station is mostly just a conduit for the video signal. Your computer still needs to be fast enough and powerful enough to output video on multiple monitors. We've covered a lot and three external monitors is probably enough for most people. But what if you want even more monitors or what if you don't have a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port on your computer? Is there still an option for you? Well, yes, of course there is. Most laptops have these blue USB ports. And for the sake of simplicity, let's just call these USB 3 ports. They use the type A port. That's the rectangular shaped port that you see here. And they're usually moving data at five gigabits per second, which is half the speed of the USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports that we are using with this docking station. So if you have one of these USB ports, you're in luck. USB 3 was released in 2008, so your computer almost certainly has one of these. So with this nifty little gadget here, you can plug into a USB 3 port and plug in an HDMI cable and add a monitor to your computer. So let's add a fourth external monitor. And first I'll plug this adapter into the USB port. The first time you use this, you will need to install a device driver, but don't panic, it's easy. A driver is simply software that makes the adapter talk to the computer and the monitor. The printed instructions that are included with this adapter explain how to do it, but just quickly, you may see a window that pops up or some kind of notification from Windows. Don't worry if you don't see that or react to it before the notification disappears. You just need to open File Explorer, and you can do that by holding down the Windows key and pressing the E key. Now mine opens right away to this PC, but in your case, you may need to click on this PC. And when you do that, you'll see the different drives that are already installed in your system. And Windows does see this adapter as a disk drive. You will have to access that drive and find it. In my case, it shows I have three other drives in here and the fourth one is USB drive. Drive F, yours is gonna be a different drive letter. And so all you have to do now is just click on that and you'll see a number of files that are on this device. And so what you need is all here. And these are three different drivers you can install either on a Mac, a PC, or an Android system. And the PC version is the one that ends in .exe. And I will just simply double click that and that will start the installation of the driver. And you may have to approve a couple of things along the way. Just follow the prompts. And that will install the driver. Your screens may black out periodically during the installation of the driver and that's normal. Okay, that took a while, but uh, it did work. So now I have to restart the computer. And once I get that done, then we'll continue. Okay, we've restarted and that's installed and now I can plug in an HDMI cable and connect that to this monitor. There you go, a fourth external monitor and this time connected through a USB 3 port. So how far can we push this? I've got another USB 3 port on the other side of this laptop, so let's plug in another adapter. 
And this time I don't have to install the driver because it's already installed. And nothing. So what's wrong here? Well, this particular monitor has a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1200. And normally that's not a problem. Most video ports can support that, but this little adapter has a hard limit. The maximum resolution is 1920 by 1080. That's all it will support. But that is full HD, so it's still great for most people. And if you just need to know that if your monitor's resolution goes above 1920 by 1080, you may need to go back into your display settings. So I'll do that. Go to display settings. And you can see the monitor's there but I need to adjust the resolution to be 1920 by 1080 or less. So I'll click on that monitor, scroll down and click on this. And you can see 1920 by 1080 because there's 1920 by 1200 resolution, even though that's the recommended, that's not going to work with this adapter. So I'll select that. My computer's running a little slow, powering all these, so it'll take a second and it'll finally accept that. And I will keep the changes and we should see the monitor come up here in just a second. And so now we've got the fifth monitor working. And one thing to note about the USB 3 port that it is connected to here, because of the slower speed of this port, I did notice in my testing that the frame rate or the refresh rate of the video on the monitors here, these two, uh, is a little bit slower than normal. In other words, if you watch video on this monitor, it won't be as smooth as the video it would look on one of these other monitors that's plugged into the docking station. You probably won't want to play games on these, but for most uses, the refresh rate will be just fine your spreadsheet won't care, I promise. So could I add a third USB adapter and add a sixth external monitor? I'm guessing that I probably could if I needed to. If you need that many monitors, you probably want to consider using a desktop computer. They're much easier to equip with high powered graphics cards that can support multiple high resolution monitors without some of the limitations that you've seen here. Earlier, I mentioned that you can use the docking station video ports with older monitors. I tested this with other monitors that don't have DisplayPort or HDMI ports on them. To connect to older monitors like that, you will need to get some converters and like these. For example, this lets you go from HDMI to VGA. Uh, this one here goes from uh, HDMI to DVI. If you don't know the names of the various ports, just pause right here to look at your ports and see what they are. Older monitors use these types of ports, so you'll need an adapter to make them work. I've got links in the description to several adapters in case you need them. You can do this with your laptop. Check the description for links to the various hardware you just saw and click this link to see a video on how to use your laptop as a second monitor for another computer. I'm Fred Kelly, your nerd sidekick.